everyone, it's Adam with UploadWP.com and this is going to be a tutorial on WooCommerce Global Attributes. I've had a number of questions um, uh, from people asking, so is there a way to just create global attributes so I can save time basically? So that's what I'm going to try to show you how to do here. Um, and here's an example of a question that we got uh, out on UploadWP.com uh, in a comment from Dan. Uh, just a real real live example uh, that says he's using Woo, uh, WooCommerce uh, on a site that sells art prints and he's going to basically have the same exact two sizes and uh, as well as the same paper options for every single product and he's hoping that there's a way to um, enter the same 20 variations uh, for or not have to enter the same 20 variations for every single product because he has uh, over 200 products it looks like. Okay, so that's what we're gonna. That's what I'm gonna show you how to do in this video. So I'm going out to uh, a WooCommerce demo site I have set up here. This uses the Mistyle theme, um, and we're going to uh, go ahead and set up uh, a global attribute. So I'm gonna go ahead and log into the WordPress admin, and we're gonna go to products, and then down to attributes. And here we're going to just create uh, our first uh, global attribute. We'll call this uh, first one size. Um, the, this demo site is uh, a t-shirt uh, site we sell uh, that fictitiously sells t-shirts. So we'll use size and then the second one I'm not sure yet but we'll set up two different attributes. So let's just start with size. So we'll call the attribute size and then the slug just same thing in lowercase. Okay, and then the type, I'm just going to leave it as select, so they can select small, medium, large, or extra large. And then the default sort order, I'll leave it at custom ordering, and I'll click add attribute. Okay, now that size attribute has been created, I'm going to click on uh, configure terms. Here's where I'm going to actually enter small, medium, large, and extra large. Um, so for the first one, I'll say small. and add new size. Okay, you see it show up right here. Let's go medium. Oops. And add new size. Medium shows up right here. Large. And then let's do extra large. Okay, add new size. So now our size global attribute has been created and we've configured the terms right here for that uh, global attribute. Okay, let's do one more. Let's go back, let's click on attributes and we'll create one more global attribute. We'll just call this one uh, color. Doesn't really, I guess it could apply to a t shirt, but uh, t shirt site, but we'll just do it as an example. So color and then color for the slug. Again, the type, we're just going to leave it on the default that says select and we're going to click add attribute. Okay, our color attribute has been created. So now we need to configure terms. So it's going to say add new color. Let's just say uh, white. Add new color. Okay, so our white t-shirt color has been created and then let's just say uh, black for the other color option. So they can get the t-shirt in white or black and then add new color. Alright, so our terms have now been configured for this global color attribute. Alright, so now let's go create a product and I'll show you how uh, the global attributes work. So if I go to products and then on the products page you can see I started a new uh, demo product here or example product right here, this draft, so I'll just click on this sports t-shirt um, and again this is just a demo product that I quickly set up uh, to show you global attributes alright so here's our product right here sport t uh, sports t-shirt long description but if we scroll down to the product data section uh, and we change it to a variable product and then we click on attributes in this drop down right here we should see our size and our color attribute that we created so if I click on that you'll see size and color so let's just click on color first and then click add 
and then here you want to click for values select all and that will insert the terms that we configured for our values black and white and then make sure to check these two boxes here used for variations and visible on the product page and then let's go ahead and let's add our size attribute underneath that so let's select size right there click add Again, let's select all, and that will insert uh, small, medium, large, uh, small, medium, large, and extra large. And then let's click on visible on product page and use for variations, and then save those attributes. So now our two global attributes are inserted. And then the last step is to just click on variations. And we'll go ahead and, and add our variations. Make sure this is enabled for color, leave it set to any color and then for size let's just go ahead and uh, create small medium large and extra large so go ahead and give it a regular price and a sale price if you want and then add variation again we'll leave it to any color size we'll go with medium here I'll give it a price and then add variation size we'll go ahead and go large give it a price make sure it's enabled one more time we'll add extra large size uh, extra large give it a price so now we have our four size variations entered color is set to any color so that they can select that and then we're going to go ahead and just publish this or update it in this case and then we'll go take a look at it out on the site okay so we're out on the product detail page we have our price here and then we have color and size so if we click on color we have our option for black or white and then size small medium large and extra large and then your add to cart button here so hopefully that gives you an idea of how you could use WooCommerce global attributes uh, to speed up the process of adding products to your uh, e-commerce site if you have any questions the best way to reach us is by posting a comment out on uploadwp.com thanks for taking time to watch this video again my name is Adam and we'll see you on the next one